Hello, and welcome to another video, episode 3 of Iowa Playing Views, 90s, roleplay, whatever. Um, the Veemer Baylor is up here. It's got a flat tire. This tire is flat, so that's going to get fixed today, but that's none of my business. <laughs> this is my business. I can't park at school for the rest of the week, mainly today and tomorrow, because tomorrow's tractor day. One thing you're going to notice, the dog is not in the fence, which is not good. But speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and feed him. So, feed the old boy. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you something. We finished cutting and bailing. I know what happened all at a day span. We were able to finish all that in one day. So, corn looks corn, so that's good. Um... Um, yeah, the grass, it's grass, I mean, this is all cut and bailed, which is good, very good, nice and short, got what we could out of it, eight bales, now they're all straight grass, five of them are wet, and there is three more, um, all of those are now, um, yeah. Everything is, this just has to be plowed up. This will be a wheat field this year. We're going to plant winter wheat. So today we're going to try to plow it up because the ground is definitely not frozen. It's the middle of September. And then we're going to try to plant and roll tomorrow. So hopefully that goes well. Hopefully that goes to plan. And yeah, and then we're going we're gonna to try to find some land to buy. It's hopefully pretty close. Not too far of a drive, so cows should be good. The old 1486, though, it's going to come out today, and it's going to do it. It's got the Western Premium interior, I'll show you. It's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, the chisel, it'll be coming out. It'll be making a field. <laughs> so, yep, everything's looking good, though. So, cows are pretty happy, all five of them. So, yeah. I don't know what that's there for. It's kind of just how we built that. I don't know why. Silage or water. Old F600 still here. Got it refilled with water last night. Old Alice Chalmers and the Rusty Cultivator. We want to redo that stainless steel part of the barn. That's something that's going to get redone. But uh, yeah, that'll get redone this winter along with that cultivator. We're going to try to match it with the Alice Chalmers and Ice Orange. But yeah. It is 7.36, so I should probably get going, because I have nine minutes to get to school. I'm not even going to go to the gas station this morning. I can't even park on school property. I did talk to that house. They are related to Patrick in some way, shape, or form. I didn't ask how, but they are. They did say, yeah, I know him. We're, he, we're related to him. They didn't say how, which is fine. I mean, that's kind of personal business. None of my business, really. So, But they said, yeah, go ahead, park on it. We don't care. Just, you know... <laughs> Yeah. I think it was kind of a dumb thing that the principal did, but you know what? He's not the smartest guy in the, in the patch, so it's okay. He's not the brightest guy anyway, so. But anyway, yeah. So, just gotta go down and go back up. That field is ready to harvest. I hope they get it going on that. Can't wait to get our wheat in, though. Alright, so I'm pulling in here. Patrick should already be here, I would guess. Yeah, I don't know. There you go. I'm parking right here, because... They said I could, and... Yeah, that's... So right here is fine, so, you know. That'll do. I guess I gotta run in here and... Do that. Ooh, do that. Anyway, I don't know who that was. I think it was Patrick. I'm not sure, though. And I have to run in here, because I have five minutes to get inside. Because um, that's when the first bell rings. You don't have to be inside by 45, but I like to get in there. I don't like to be slacking, if you know what I mean, outside. So, I don't leave today early, so I get out at 2.30, like normal. So, yeah. And I don't know who that was. Oh, that was Patrick, because he's parked in a spot. Howdy.
What would you get a piece of junk for? <laughs> it's not a piece of junk. It's an old workhorse. It's the old it's farm a... truck. Oh, look at it. It's a piece of junk. It's not a piece of junk. This thing's still running, is it? That's it's a piece basic. of junk, all right. Dual dr oh. <laughs> it gets the job done. It's just mm. dirty right now. We've been doing work with it, okay? Uh, we, we bought that old uh, abandoned farm just outside of town. We're uh, going to tear the whole place down put a dairy farm on top of it. Because it was a good <laughs> price, and the land you got with it was pretty good, so, but... <laughs> good truck. It's you been in the family since pretty much brand new, so... Uh, good truck again. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Small block 302, three on the tree, two-wheel drive. Oh, yeah, she gets her job done all right. A two-wheel drive, barely make it out of the field or the driveway. It's fine. We're not putting it in the field. Well, anyways, <laughs> shut up. I'm kind of getting here. Why? That <laughs> class is me. terrible. It's always yeah. terrible. I don't know why I'm it's walking always... this way. My truck's the other way. <laughs> yeah, your truck's the other way. Also, uh, I'm going to uh, be busy in the farm or whatnot. Well, I can bring you to your truck. It's fine. You can in, yeah, I got to. Awesome. My dad needs me to plow up. Yeah. He's out. Well, if you're around stuff. later, I mean, you can stop by on the old place. I mean, we can take all the help we can get, so. Yeah. Oh, get in. Yeah, just take me to your, uh, to my truck. I'm sure you saw me walk across yeah. the street. They said they were related to you. Are they, like, cousins or something, or? Uncle Clint. <sighs> Good old Uncle uh, Clint. He's a funny he, guy. Uh, he was he, the owner of the farm, and he sold to my father, and that's uh, Lacko, so. Yeah. He, he seems pretty nice. I mean, he let me park right in front of his house, so that's yeah. cool. I mean, he knows yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta plow up that spot we cut for the past few days. Oh, yeah. Hey, but if you're uh, not busy later, whenever you're not busy, just come stop by our farm. If we're not there, probably up at that band farm, but, uh, cause we can take all the help we can get. Try to clean the place <laughs> out, but. Yeah. Anywho, I guess see you around, and if you need me, like I said 36 times, we'll probably be up at the abandoned farm, so. Yeah. Well, I gotta do some plowing on that spot we were, uh. Oh, yeah. Cutting hay in or grass. Which, half of those, they yeah. weren't good, cause, um, they get rained on, but we still bailed them up and yeah. gave them to the people, cause they said they'll take them, they don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Made four grand off of them, so I'm not gonna complain. That's not bad. That's not bad, but well, anywho, yeah. I'm gonna let you go. I got, I got, I got, I got to keep half of it, so I'm gonna be looking out for a deal on a pickup or something. There you go. <laughs> that or save there it for another. That or save it for another second gen. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'll see. Uh, yep. See ya. <laughs> yep. See ya, man. All right. All right. I guess we'll uh, get going. Unlike him, I'm not gonna go into the grass. So. All right. Is he turn? He got his left turn signal on, and he's going right. And we're going this way. Yeah, principal can suck it. I didn't even do anything illegal. I didn't even do anything wrong. I just drove by. I just felt like, you know what? I'm gonna lay into it a little bit. <laughs> It's not really my fault my truck does that, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's only for two days, thankfully. Next time it's a week. Or a month, I should say. That'll be fine, though. I don't really care. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess we'll go get the 1486. Because it needs, because we need a plow with it. So that's, that's the big boy tratter. So, that doesn't really get used often. We're thinking about trading it, but for what? I have no clue. So. Alright, we're gonna park where I always park, right in front of the gooseneck. Yeah, Daddy's buying a, a new logging trailer. He's gonna be out logging. He's gonna buy a whole different semi, but he's gonna be a logger. And leave me with a farm for pretty much everything, so... I personally I don't really agree with all that much so I mean it's it's whatever I mean whatever <laughs> I guess we'll get out here though I do need to buy a weight for this thing I guess part of that two grand will go to that 
matter if dad wants to go ahead and be the sweetheart and buy it for me. <laughs> uh, the weight's probably, they, they can't be too much. I'd say at least $500, which is really not that expensive, so. So, yeah, let's dig this thing down in here and get to going. I do, I do gotta be careful. I don't wanna get too close. Because I am tended to get to that point where I'm, I'm getting a little close to the fence there. Kind of have to be careful. But yeah, we got we got all this cut up and it, it went pretty well. I mean, can't complain. Yeah, they got wet. Oh well, that was a surprise shower that happened all morning. And well, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And that was one of those times. So <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the Vimer, it, it's no. Yeah, I still see it up there. He must not have gotten to it yet. He did go out buying that semi. He said he'd be back later tonight, but he should have been able to still get it, so. But he had Mom take him, and Mom was back, she said, so. Yeah. It's no telling whenever he'll be back. But anyway, this is hopefully going to be a pretty successful field because um, we want to get some nice, we want to get some straw bales to sell. I know straw is in pretty decent demand right now, actually. A lot of people are having trouble trying to find them and all that, so. And people have been harvesting wheat and trying to sell them, and, well, they're, they're trying to. <laughs> I mean... They'll, they'll get them, eventually. <laughs> now we got this whole section right here. We want to replow it up as well, just so we can um, get some better grass out of it. Because this grass does not like to grow tall, and it's not that great for us. Because I this whole, this entire section that I'm plowing up right now, eight bales. Which, I guess that's not actually that terrible, but it could be better. Like, if the grass was taller, it could be better. But if we cut this up into sections like we did this, we're probably going to get no more than 50. Maybe maybe not even 40. Which is not very good. So. Yeah. Well, there's a lot to do here, and I don't want to bore everybody with it. So, I guess it's time-lapse time. So, I guess I'll see you when the time-lapse is over.
right, so everything's basically done. We just got to do this last little strip, put the 1486 away, and I think I'm pretty much done for the day almost. I got to feed the cows. I think we could do that off camera. Yeah. But yeah, the 1486 did pretty well. Used all the horsepower she's got to pull, push up this hill and get a go. And so, yeah, she did pretty good though. I mean, steady. Did well. The chisel, it, it did fine, of course. <laughs> no, we're spinning. Our right tire is spinning more than the left. And we are done. Perfect. All right, well, we'll take this back down to the shed. I think that, yeah, we'll take this back down to the shed, and that's our field. Looks pretty good. I mean, nothing to complain about. So, our huge silo system. Whew. Man. Man, oh man. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. So, yep. Kind of, yep, got a lot done today. I feel pretty good about that. So if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.